Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, look, let's bring it back to Envenomation, if you don't mind. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 right. I told you I'd do this. I know it's going to happen anyway. You know, like, we're usually here drinking. I mean, we yeah. get sidetracked badly. Um, but look, just for uh, our audience out there, do you want to describe um, a little bit what a venomous snake bite was like for you? I know there was a couple that we spoke about. There was oh. the um, spotted black and the marsh snake. Okay. Um, so, I'll talk. My first bite was actually from a shield snake, a brown snake. Uh, a spitterinka. A spitterinka. Right. So I was moving it from one case to another and it banged me on the little finger. And I looked down and I remember looking down and going, oh, fuck, that's not good. Yeah, that, that, that'd be good. And, right. like, and that's like the first thing that goes through your mind. Oh, fuck, that's not good. <laughs> anyway, so I put it back in this box. I've gone and put the bandage on. Guy and my mum see me and she's just started crying. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's the wor- that's worse that's than the worse bite, part. isn't it? Yeah, that's it way worse than the bite. <laughs> so that was that. So anyway, so that was back in '94. <sighs> anyway, '96 comes around, and I was breeding. I was breeding venom snakes at that point in time. I had this clutch of spotted black snakes, and oh, I suppose one that was about yay long, so two and a half feet. Yearling, basically. Yeah, yearling. It smashed me on the little finger. We used to use light bulb boxes as hides. You know, so. <laughs> Um, had them in like plastic containers and then you use the light bulb box to hide and you throw it away when it gets at the manky. So anyway, the back of the light bulb box, there's like a little bit of a fold. So I've, the snake's curled up inside the high box. So I'm like, oh yeah, sorry, I'll just grab that out like that. Put it into the, the bin that I'll, and then clean out the cage. So anyway, the little, my little finger, the end of that looks like a pink mouse. Mm. Yep. A pink rat. <laughs> so anyway, this spot of black just smashed me on the end of the fucking little finger. And I remember looking at it going, fuck, and flipped it. And I watched the snake fly from one side of the room to the other. I'm like, oh, that fucking hurt. Anyway, I walked over, picked the snake up, fucking threw it back in the cage. I was like, fucking prick. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, what a black. Who gives a fuck? You know, that's only a little one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be <laughs> right. Oh, <like>, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I had no bandage on or anything like that. I've gone in, so I told me old man, I said, oh, I've been smashed by a spot of black. And he goes, how bad are they? And I go, oh, Nah, they were right. <laughs> <laughs> and what did he say? He goes, oh, I'll keep an eye on you. Anyway, about three minutes later, I'm like, nah, fuck, we better go to the hospital. So, fucking Ben John. Anyway, old man's like flying down Daniel Road in Melbourne, fucking 120 k's an hour, up through the tram lines, the whole fucking lot. Anyway, pulls into the Alfred Hospital. Anyway, so we go in, and then we had this whole argument about what I'd be bitten by in the hospital. And anyway, it came down to the doctors. The doctors said, look, you don't get spotted black snakes in Victoria. And my comment to that was, well, you might fucking shed, you do. <laughs> yeah. okay. And so... You get everything in much. Yeah, you know, so <laughs> then there was, they got onto a, a serum guy, a, a venom researcher guy, and spoken to him. And when they spoke to him, he goes, nah, okay. If he's saying he's been bitten by that and he's so adamant about it, then maybe you should listen to him. You know, he's got a license, da, 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 da. Right. So, long story short... Two ampules of antivenom later, and I had to get a, a SVDK test. And they're like, "Well, we hadn't, haven't had a spit, confirmed case from a spotted black snake bite before. We're gonna see how it's gonna react." I'm like, "Oh yeah, right, no worries." So the fuckers gave me a catheter. <laughs> what a treat! Your dad wasn't bad enough. You, you reckon that being smashed by a venomous snake is bad? Get a catheter with no fucking anaesthetic. It sucks. And okay. no, no anaesthetic. No anaesthetic. Well, you don't want to suppress the nervous system. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it fucking sucks. It's sensitive. Oh, oh, so, okay. So there's another thing to think about. So, if you do get a neurotoxic bite, no it. No, well, no I don't know. Maybe it was just the case. I think... Maybe that was what, what it was know, back in the day. I don't know. I mean, I know other people that have had pethidine and stuff like that. Yeah, after, okay. After, after a venom snake stuff like that. So maybe it was just me. I don't know. Maybe they were teaching me a fucking lesson. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I've got permanent damage in my left hand. Really? Yeah, I lost my sense of smell and taste for two years. Wow. How's the cake? Fucking fantastic. Hey, <laughs> we're back. Came back. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I have permanent damage now, nerve damage from my little finger up to here, that part of my arm. Wow. Um, and, you know, I burnt it pretty badly because I didn't feel it burning. Yeah, right. So it, it was a pretty bad bite. A um, few other bites in between here and there basically because I was a hands-on keeper and I was also a teenager and thought I was indestructible you know oh I get a bite go to the hospital get any venom you'll be right keep moving that all changed in 2005 um 
I got a bite from a swamp snake. Medically insignificant. Hemiaspis signata, this little uh, blue bellied marsh snake. Yeah, so snakes, yeah. the one that smashed me was three feet long. So it was a good okay, size. so it's a decent size. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> I've big, never it, seen a marsh snake. It, it was big, it was bigger than it was thicker than my thumb. Anyway, so I'm curled it up like this for photos. So I'm holding it underneath my hand like this for a photo. First guy takes photos, second guy takes photos. The snake's just fucking calm as fuck. Anyway, next thing you know, fucking bangs me on the little thing in there. And just like, and I literally look, lifted my hand up like this, and it's just like attached. You fucking prick. Dangling off your finger. Like, Why are you doing this? <laughs> anyway, pull him off. Go, you can't even kill me. Right? <laughs> Curling back up again with my hand. <laughs> right? Get my photos. And as I'm like trying to focus the camera, I'm feeling my hand swelling up, and I'm actually struggling to focus the camera because my hand's swelling up that much. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah, you know, it's going to. You read all the books. What do they say? Oh, yeah, it's like a bad wasp thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you expect a bit of pain. You Some, somebody, uh, there was a herpetologist who wrote down the account. Um, mm. I read the paper. Um, Hemiaspis signata gets bite, uh, and uh, there's a paper of him, it's an old paper of him just sitting down, just describing symptoms, being like headache, a little bit of blood in the urine, that's about it. Yeah, yeah. That would have been awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, about 25 minutes later, oh, fucking eyes are starting to run. You know, I'm like fucking, you know, I'm feeling a bit sick and sore, and fingers all swollen, a bit sore. And then I'm like, oh, itchy, nose running, itchy, and I'm sort of ears are burning. Mm. Like, fuck, okay. Anyway, I look down the inside of my arms, I and mean, the inside of my arms are just fucking hyped up, all right, like completely hyped up. Oh, my oh, chest is hot. So I've pulled my fucking look at my shirt, my whole chest hives and rashy and everything. Oh, right. yeah. Anyway, so I look in the fucking, in the rear vision mirror. We're like 300k from fucking anywhere. Look in the rear vision mirror of the fucking cruiser and look, my face is like bright fucking red and my lips are gone blue. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> this might be a bit of an issue. Yeah. Uh-huh. So my mate's with me, he goes, oh, how are you feeling? I go, oh, not so fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, do we need to go to the hospital? I go, oh, nah, we'll be all right. Be okay, I'll just see And I'm like sitting there quietly concentrating on my breathing. And I'm like, oh, and those oh, oh, airways are starting okay, to close. Okay, my airways oh. are starting to close. I'm like, hey, dude, we better fucking go. <laughs> so that's not um standard reaction to uh, marsh snake. Well, yeah. So basically, anaphylaxis. So Allergic I, reaction. I, I had an anaphylactic reaction yeah. to. That was my first anaphylactic reaction. Um. And so basically what happened was it was like some fucker was sitting on my chest Ooh. and I couldn't, I was really struggling to actually intake oxygen. Yeah. Right. And basically what that was is that my airways were shutting and because my airways were shutting, it was really hard and being constricted to actually breathe. Long story short, it took, I was like that for about half an hour from the start, from the onset till where it started to sort of give way. And so the symptoms effectively reversed. And so my head started to clear, my eyes cleared up. Uh, handles are swollen as fuck but you know and then it's fine and then sort of 12 hours later I'm out chasing snakes again you know, wow and straight back into it well I couldn't I had to catch a brown snake backhanded because I couldn't <laughs> close my hand the, the right way because my hand was like swollen <laughs> can't miss them can't miss them oh, um, so yeah so anyway so I get back and then I can't remember who I spoke to I spoke to some boy a toxicologist anyway and told him what happened and he's like, yeah, you went through anaphylactic. You're pretty lucky to be here. I'm like, oh, okay. He goes, what was it? And I said, swamp snake. And he goes, oh, you've been bitten by them before. And this was the interesting part. No. That was the very first swamp snake I had ever seen. And it got you. And it bit me. Yeah. All because I was being Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Normally, you just wouldn't take him seriously. Like, yeah, who, exactly. who does? Mm. Exactly. I've so, done the exact same thing as you countless times. Yeah. You just so, wouldn't, wouldn't think that that was going to happen. Exactly. So you think it's not going to fucking happen. Anyway, so this is why it was, in some ways, I'm really happy it did. Right. Learn a lesson. So, mm. yeah, well, you only learn a lesson if you act upon that lesson, don't you? So, yeah, right. anyway, so basically what ended up happening was, as I looked at it and gone, well, okay, I've never seen a swamp snake before. I've never been exposed to any of their toxins before. I'm obviously allergic to some yeah. enzyme or some protein that's common to quite a few snakes, but I don't know what that is. So I need to be careful 
doesn't matter what it is. So I suppose what that's led to me now is what I explain to every person that I come into come to contact with when, when it comes to working with venomous snakes. Don't disregard the fact that it might be highly toxic, anything like that. If you can't get oxygen into your lungs and that those that oxygen from your lungs can't oxygenate the blood to your heart, it doesn't matter, you're gonna fucking die anyway. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter what a book says, all right? My book says, yeah, mildly venomous on this and mildly venomous on that, da 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 da. If you happen to be the one that actually reacts to that particular toxin, you're fucked either way. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, very true. I suppose for me where it was good is that because it was a, a species of snake that is regarded generally as, as mildly venomous, um, it made me sit up and think that these symptoms are actually due to mm. anaphylactic reaction due to an allergic reaction as opposed to symptoms of an envenomation, which is so very depending on what you get bit by. Um, and so there's two ways I could have dealt with that afterwards. All right. The first way is to go, oh, I'm not going to tell anyone about my embarrassing story. Yeah. And then the next person comes along and then they get bitten by something and they go through the same sort of shit that I do. Yeah. Or, alternatively, I can look like a fuckwit to a few people and, and tell people about it. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so people are going to learn from it. Yeah, and so definitely. the deal was, was that, oh, fuck it. You know what? I'll tell people about it. And I put the photo up of me looking absolutely fucking rat shit, <laughs> all right, in my talks when I'm doing a talk to a herb society. And the comments that I get are, <gasps> And they go, fuck you, a lot skinnier then. <laughs> but I suppose that we're going with that, though, is what, what happens is at least people are learning from Yeah, from yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, and we, we thank people like you for it all the time. I mean, how else would um, people know? Or, well, or I suppose the way I look at it is if, if I've helped one person through that I don't know if mm. I've, I've helped yeah. them or not, but if one person hasn't had to go through what I went through, happy days, I'll cop a bit more shit for it. Yeah.